Hello everyone, welcome to must be noob. In this video, we are going to see how you can install Linux Mint 19.1 Cinnamon Edition in Oracle VM VirtualBox. So for this demonstration, I'm going to create new virtual machine first. Let's click on new button. Here we need to specify the name of our virtual machine, which will be Mint-19.1 in my case. Then after I have options to choose the location where I want to store my virtual machine. Then we have a type which will be a Linux in our case and then we have a options version which will be a Ubuntu 64-bit. Let's click on next to continue. Here it is asking us to specify amount of memory to this virtual machine which will be a 2GB in my case. Let's click on next. We are going to create new virtual hard disk so I'm going to click on create button. Next again next again and here I'm going to specify the size which will be a 50 GB in our case. Let's click on create to create this virtual machine. As you can see virtual machine has been created successfully. Now I'm going to modify certain settings. First of all I'm going to click on system and under boot order I'm going to remove floppy disk. We want hard disk as a first boot and optical disk as a second boot. I'm going to click on processor tab and we want to use minimum two CPU core. Then after I'm going to click on storage options and here I'm going to mount the ISO image of Linux Mint 19.1 Cinnamon Edition. The link to download this ISO image is also given in the description area. Okay, Linux Mint 19.1 Cinnamon 64 bit. As you can see, ISO image has been mounted successfully. Now I'm going to click on network and we want to use bridge adapter because I want internet connection to this virtual machine as well. Okay, now I'm going to click on OK button. Fine, now we are ready to start the installation process. So let's click on start button. Press enter key. Now here we have uh, uh, options start Linux Mint, start in compatibility mode, OEM install, integrity check, memory test and boot from local drive. So for this installation purpose, we need to select start Linux Mint. Okay, here we are getting message running in software rendering mode. I'm going to close it. And to start the installation, we need to click on install Linux Mint. Let's double click on it. Okay, here it is asking us to select the language for this installation process. English will be uh, selected by default and we are going with that. Let's click on continue. Here it is asking us to select uh, your keyboard layout, which will be uh, English US in my case. Let's click on continue. If you want to install third party software for graphics and other media, that time you need to select this checkbox. But I will create a one separate video and that we will see how we can install multimedia codec in Linux Mint. So that's why I'm not going to select this box. Let's click on continue. Uh, under installation type, we have uh, options to select the installation type. As you can see the by default selected options is it is disk and install Linux Mint. But if you want to go with the custom partitioning, that time you need to select something else and then you can create your manual partitioning and then after you can install a Linux Mint as per your requirement. But we are installing this Linux Mint in uh, Oracle VM VirtualBox just for testing purpose and that's why I'm going to select the first one. It is disk and install a Linux Mint. So it is going to create automatic partitioning for us. Let's click on install now to start the installation process. Let's click on continue. Here you need to select your time zone and as you can see my computer is already connected with internet. That's why my time zone is already selected to UTC plus 530 which is Kolkata, New Delhi. Let's click on continue. And here you need to supply this information like your name, your computer name, your password, your username, etc. Once you provide all those information, then you need to click on continue. As you can see, installation process has been started successfully and this will take some time to complete. 
once the installation completes successfully, it is going to ask us to reboot our virtual machine. Okay, as you can see, installation has been finished. Uh, you can continue testing Linux Mint now or you can restart your computer. So we are going for the restart. Let's click on restart now to restart our Linux Mint virtual machine. Okay, after restart, let's specify the password for our user account and hit enter. Okay, I'm going to close this and welcome to Linux Mint. Let's clear the checkbox. We don't want this console at startup. Now I'm going to open terminal and at the terminal I'm going to run command sudo apt space update. Let's press with the password. And as you can see, now we have 188 packages that can be upgraded. And for that, we need to run command apt space list space hyphen hyphen upgradable. Or simply, uh, you can run a command directly sudo space apt space upgrade. Press Y to continue. So this will take some time to complete because as it is going to download uh, lots of packages and then after it will install all those packages to our computer. Okay, that's it. All the updates has been successfully installed on this Linux Mint computer. One more time, I want to check for the system update. Okay, as you can see, all packages are up to date. So this is the way how we can install Linux Mint 19.1 Cinnamon in Oracle VM VirtualBox. And then after installing Linux Mint, we can update and upgrade Linux Mint to the latest version. That concludes our video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video.